you all need to repent. Repent, repent, repent. And then you guys have nerve to say you're raising money for children with this satanic event. That is so disgusting. You all should be ashamed of yourself. You will have to take an account before the mighty throne of God. And I'm just warning you. It's in this Bible. If y'all will read it and save your soul. I would not want to be any of y'all on Judgment Day if you don't get reborn again and renounce this satanic event. And you can mock me all you want, but I assure you, you won't be mocking before the mighty throne of God. No, you're trying to mock me and think you're funny and you're not. And that's okay because you're not, you're not mocking me, you're mocking God. You're mocking God and you think it's cute and funny, but I assure you, you will be crying like a baby before the throne. And let me tell you something, hell is real. And don't listen to Hollywood where it makes everybody think they're going to heaven because they're a good person. It's a lie straight out of the pit of hell. In this Bible, it says that the path to heaven is narrow and few find it. And broad is the way to destruction, hell, and many and many are on it. That's the path you're on right now. That is the path you're on. And I'm the one who's trying to tell you, warn you. Y'all always try to sell out Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for you. And you know, none of y'all would die for anybody that hated you, who mocked you, spit on you, put nails on you betrayed you. Y'all wouldn't die for nobody like that, but he still died for y'all ungrateful people. When you know none of us would have did it. I hope you repent. I hope you repent and get reborn again and ask the Lord to forgive you. And I assure you, you all are fellowshipping with demons. And they are loving it. They are loving it because they are out here in full force because you guys are giving them energy. You're giving them attention and they're out here. And you may think it's funny. You may think it's a Hollywood uh, thing, but it's not. It's very rare. There is a spiritual battle for each and every one of your souls. And Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you and you're selling him out like a modern day Judas. And y'all probably don't even know who that is because you never opened up a Bible. Do you know who that is, officer? Do you know who Judas is? Have you been to church? I take your silence as a no. I hope you're not here at the next event. I hope you repent. Jesus Christ loves you. And he doesn't want you to be deceived by this. That's why I'm here freezing when I can be at home and I got to go to work tomorrow morning. Because your soul is precious. It's precious. But I assure you, you will be in hell if you don't renounce you being here. God is not going to take wickedness in his, into heaven or pervertedness. And you will not have a leg to stand on because you've been warned. You've been warned so you won't have an excuse. He'll remind you that I was standing here telling you it was wrong and you did it anyway. So you better start thinking about what excuse you're going to tell God when you're standing in front of him in his throne. 
And you won't have Jesus as an advocate because you didn't accept him. And you won't have him because you didn't accept him. There are so many people burning in hell right now. There's way more people in hell than there is in heaven. Hollywood makes it seem like everybody's going to heaven, but they're not. I don't know why y'all all think that. Y'all need to stop watching TV and stop watching those fantasy movies, making it seem like you're going to go to heaven just because you didn't kill anybody and because you didn't hurt any little kids and because you ran a 10K marathon for cancer. It does not matter. You need to repent. I hope you have what you're going to say to God ready. That's what y'all really need to be talking about over there. What you're going to be talking to God about. Because you're not going to have any excuses. I hope y'all are talking about that. You guys keep thinking that God's a joke, but he's not. You think you're saved, officer? You wanted to wave to me five minutes ago. Now you don't want to talk to me now? Oh, well, you, well, I'm saying you were mocking God, but now you don't want to talk now? You, I hope you know Jesus Christ, you can get killed anytime in your line of duty. You don't think about that? Because I tell you, once you die, you're dead, it's a wrap. It's appointed for a man to die once, and then there's judgment. I'd be really scared if I were you, if I didn't know the Lord. And I'm glad all y'all are here. Call all your squad buddies because they all need to hear this. You all need to be reborn again and repent and live a holy and righteous life if you want to be in heaven. Your bulletproof vest, your guns, your lasers, your pepper spray is not going to save your soul, but only Jesus Christ. Don't think that you can live a wicked lifestyle and still make it to heaven. It's not going to happen like that.